Earth hit the highest CO2 emissions ever recorded as satellites in space detected cattle burp emissions for the very first time. Yet another study came out proving that Neanderthals ate a high-carb diet of starchy foods at least 600,000 years ago, fueling the expansion of their brains. A new report revealed how meat producers made baseless claims of meat shortages to keep their facilities open during the COVID pandemic, causing countless more deaths among meatpacking adjacent communities. An accidental discovery that scallops are attracted to disco lights has led to the development of new fishing techniques, exploiting this natural trait. The U.S. has spent more than $2 billion on a plan to save salmon, but they are vanishing anyway. Europe's chicken supply chain was found to have a human rights problem, according to a report by EarthSight linking its killing of indigenous people in Brazil. A new study showed that replacing just one-fifth of global beef consumption with microbial protein could have annual deforestation. New York City joined the planetary health diet with 100 cities worldwide who agreed to fight climate change through food by serving predominantly plant-based nutrition. The world's largest vats for growing no-kill meter to be built by the U.S. by the company Good Meat, who said the bioreactors would grow more than 13,000 tons of chicken and beef a year. All right, see you all in the summer.